Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are going to take a look ahead for the part of today's video and look at Future Stars Team Number 2, which is coming tomorrow on this game. I know there's a lot going on right now with Foot Future Stars Team Number 1, the Party Bag SBC, the Future Stars Reunion Player Pick, which is going to be repeatable again today inside of FIFA. And I want to look at how the market is bleeding coins because of the Party Bag SBC again. And just a lot of the prices on this game continue to drop, but a lot of SBC fodder continues to go up as people are doing SBCs so much on this game right now. We're going to take a look at Future Stars Team 2, some of the leaked players and the actual confirmed squad. Uh, as a part of this promo that is going to be released in the game tomorrow. And still a lot of leaked content that could be potentially dropping tomorrow on this game as a part of the Future Stars Team 2. And how a lot of people say that Team 2 of Future Stars looks better than Team 1. And of course, we're going to talk about the market and all the craziness that is going on right now with prices dropping everywhere. But of course, you have rewards today. Could that make some prices go up? And with all these prices going down... Are there opportunities to trade? The answer to that is yes. But we're going to take a look at all of that in today's video. So if you're excited for Future Stars Team 2, which again, a lot of people think is better than Team 1, make sure to hit a thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you're new. But let's start talking about Team 2. This is the team. This is the leaked team. Like Team 1 and Team 2 were leaked both like two weeks ago, like a really long time ago. So we've known these cards were in unless EA pulled a fast one on us, which they haven't done yet. Uh, then these are going to be the cards that we will see in packs tomorrow. Of course, headlined by three really big names in this game. Pedri. Pedri finally getting himself a special card. 90 pace, 95 dribble, 91 passing. I don't think all these stats are confirmed yet. You're probably going to see some more leaked stats come out here in the next few days. Gravenberch, 91 pace, 92 dribbling, 90 uh, passing. This Gravenberch card is on par, if not maybe even better than Jude Bellingham. Uh, Florian Wirtz has a really insane looking card. This is giving me kind of like Kai Havertz FIFA 19 flashback vibes from that card right there. Daka, Premier League striker, 98 pace, 91 dribbling. His uh, Winter Wild Cards objective card, a lot of people have gotten that one and that tears me up in Division Rivals and in the Weekend League sometimes. And then a really major major card a lot of people are looking out for is Lacroix. Center back Wolfsburg for wrench, 93 pace, 89 defense, 86 physical. Now, I don't think all these stats are confirmed, but these players are confirmed. Brian Hill, right? He was formerly from Spurs, transferred to La Liga. I think he is not going to be a Spurs player for this promo since they made Vlahovic a Ju Juve player. I assume they will make Brian Hill a Valencia player since he transferred there on loan. Uh, Raspadori is another one that a lot of people are excited about. A striker or center attacking mid in the Serie A with some pretty big stats. Tyler Adams, the USA man. Salisu uh, from Southampton could have a pretty good looking card. Ibanez actually from Roma could be a really stacked looking item. And then you have a very pacey league on right back in Cabore. So there's some pretty good looking cards as a part of team number two of course headlined by these top five guys and especially Lacroix, Gravenberch, and Pedri but Pedri is going to be so so hyped because he's finally getting a special card in FIFA I think a card like his would really fit the meta as well so I think just like Ferran Torres has been very expensive I think this Pedri is going to be very expensive as well I honestly think he is going to be on the levels of Jude Bellingham price wise maybe even a little bit more expensive hopefully like they did with team number one they supply some healthy pace uh, or skill move and weak foot boosts. You know, like, of course, Vlahovic got that four-star, four-star upgrade. I really hope that they're giving out some skill move and weak foot upgrades for cards that are in this team as well. So, again, this is the team that we will see tomorrow in packs. These are the confirmed players. The ratings and stats are not 100% confirmed. I would watch out for Twitter leaks even today and possibly a loading screen today on Thursday as EA would try to hint at some of the stats for a few of these cards that will be coming out in the game tomorrow. But again, if you look at that team in general and you look at a few of the cards that are in it, I mean, you you look and there are some really big name cards in there. Pedri, that's going to be very, very hyped. Again, you know that Bellingham looks really, really cracked, but Gravenberch's card with those stats, I mean, he is going to be disgusting. I know that he doesn't have the best links because he is in the Eredivisie, but Icon Links, Dutch, and there's a, there's a decent amount of Eredivisie cards that you'd be able to link this card to, but so many people already love 
this road to the knockouts version of Gravenberge, him getting a plus five or a plus six boost on top of this, he's going to look cracked. And then, of course, you can't forget about talking this guy, Lacroix, right? Um, just this card was like 40K at the beginning of FIFA as a 79 rated gold card. He's going to have way above 90 pace, high 80s defense, maybe even mid to high 80s physical. And this card was just so overpowered at the beginning of the year. I mean, a nice uh, three-star or four-star weak foot upgrade might be nice uh, at this stage of the game, but this card is going to be unbelievable. He's going to be so expensive, and I, that's why I think there's just a, a couple more cards in this team, too, that look more usable than Team 1. Not that Team 1 is really bad. I think it is a bit underwhelming, as a lot of you guys in the comments section have been saying, but I think Team 2 just looks a little bit of an, you know, it's a next step up, right? So I'm excited for that. I'm pretty hyped for that. There's also still a lot of leaks content that we have out there that could be a part of future stars team too and even some of the stuff we could be seeing still you know today and into friday tomorrow flashback gareth bale is one of the cards that we have not seen yet right that we are hoping to see the r9 sbc right is another one that people have not seen yet that a lot of people are hoping to see you know we had the first of these um marseille sbc saliba was yesterday um, Ganduzi, Kamara, Gay, right? We're just still some potential SBCs out there that we have not seen yet. Body of Shelle, um, as I'm looking through Foot Sheriff's um, page here on Twitter, we still have not seen this item. So there's, you know, there's still a decent amount of leaks out there. We still haven't seen the Academy Objectives Amine Guri, right? He is leaked to have an objectives card. Chukweze is leaked to have an objectives card. So there's still some leaks out there that we haven't quite seen yet uh, that, you know, we probably could see later on this next week we'll have to see when this stuff drops but again there's just a lot of potential still for the future stars to promo now on this game and on this market so again watch out for a loading screen today i think that's very possible sometimes ea don't do loading screens for team two um, but for future stars they know it's a very high promo I think they also uh, might add in a loading screen because of that. Now, also, tomorrow is a big day on Friday because the Future Star Swap Token rewards are going to be available, as it says here, starting February 11th. So that's going to be a big, big aspect of the market that we're going to talk about in tomorrow's video is the 85 times 10 getting released again. A lot of people are taking that pack. Um, so there's going to be, I think right now we have like, 16 or 17 tokens that are released at a part as a part of these swaps. Uh, oh, I'm wrong. Sorry. There are 19 swaps tokens that have been fully made available as of right now. 19 swaps tokens. So by the time we get to tomorrow on Friday, people are probably going to be able to claim Gallagher with their 20th token if they've done all of them, which actually is not true because the squad battles token you cannot claim until Saturday. So there will be a lot of people opening 85 plus times 10 over the weekend, and that's going to impact the market a lot tomorrow. But let's roll it back and talk about what is going on currently and what's going to happen today on Thursday on this game. Of course, it's rewards day, and this rewards time period today is really massive for a lot of people, myself included, because it's supplying fodder into the club, right? And as you take a look at these these rewards, I got the reward upgrade for Division 2. I always choose Option 2, right? Because I always want more packs. I'm getting better packs now than I ever have. Like the rewards are better for packs, but they give out less coins. And I really think what that's gonna do to the market today after rewards is gonna put fodder in people's clubs and they're gonna go out and do SBCs. There are a lot of SBCs available right now. You've got, of course, you know, the Saliba that was released yesterday. You've got Brahim Diaz that people still might be working on, Calvert Lewin. You've got the Zidane, you've got the Haji, father, son SBC. Uh, you have got still like a Varan SBC. So so many player SBCs are live right now at the moment that a lot of people might go and do. And that's not even to mention maybe the mid icon upgrade that people are halfway done working through. The mid or prime icon that people might be halfway done working through, right? Or, you know, some of these other SBCs like the reunion player pick. Again, you can see this is re-upped again today. And as we saw yesterday with the party bag SBC dropping, as we expected, it drained coins off the market. It made fodder go up in price, but it was so cheap, right? It was so, so cheap. But again, I think that's the main part of rewards today that I'm going to be watching. And if you even are watching this video and you're like, hey, Nate, 84s are still kind of down from where they were. Um, you know, this is the index 84 from yesterday because the party bag SBC was only like 60,000 coins to do. It was dirt cheap. So it was an 84 rated squad with 70 chemistry, which was way cheaper than I even expected to be. And 84 is absolutely ballooned. Now they've come back down a little bit. But again, I think with that Future Stars reunion player pick, 
um, re-upping itself today and being repeatable once again, I think you might see some of these 84s crawl back upwards after rewards. People get a little bit of coins, they get fodder in their club from untradeable packs, they go out and they do some SBCs. That's the major part of the market I think you might see move today. Again, as you look at some of these SBCs right now too, um, Saliba was like 250K when he first came out. And we take a look at the hourly graph. Yeah, 250. And then after the immediate fodder boom, he's kind of settled down. I think if you watch, this is going to be a good way to monitor fodder prices today is watch this price of this SBC. I think it might rise back to 230, 240,000 coins as people trick, take untradeable packs from division rivals. Some people take tradable, but a lot of people I think are going to go out and finish SBCs and that's going to make the fodder market go up. Again, the party bag being 50K, the SBC was purely bad, right? This SBC was not a good gamble pack. But again, with more and more of these SBCs being dropped, people have to sell cards to go and do uh, those gamble pack SBCs because people are addicted to them, right? They love doing them because the, oh my goodness, I could pack X player. Uh, but instead, they of course don't. Uh, I saw tons of winter wild cards packed yesterday. We made a joke on stream. Like almost every other pack was wild, winter wild cards like Milinkovic Savage. Um, we packed like the Alex Moreno left back card so many times. Uh, so he did rebound back a little bit. Wow. Milinkovic Savage is just over 100K. But a lot of the market dipped down really, really low yesterday. And there were plenty of potential buy times and buy windows for a lot of cards. I mean, take a look at like Future Stars Konate. He got, of course, dropped in price because of the Saliba SBC and because of people selling cards. This dude is, was down to like 270K flat. Right now, he's still back at 285, 286. I do think that some of these future star items will rise up a little bit after rewards today, especially some of your rare ones. Uh, you know, I'm kind of taking an eye and taking a watch on Ferran Torres, right? Because again, this guy is just so mad rare, so mad hyped on this game, and he's now down 1.35. 138. I mean, this guy was at his lowest 1.3 lows. So if he gets down to the 1.3 lows again with Pedri coming out, I know he's getting another card this weekend. Um, but I think that I think some of these future star items are hyped enough uh, that they could, you know, rise up later on. I mean, I would even watch. I would even keep an eye on Indica, right? I'm gonna say this out there. Uh, we have Lacroix coming this weekend. I know this Indica is very cheap, and Lacroix is gonna be way more expensive. It really just depends on if we keep getting French center back SBCs because there's more French center back SBCs that are leaked, like that Kamara from Marseille, and then also the um, the Badia uh the perfect link to Chalmany. So there's a lot of that leak content that might hurt a card like Indica, but I still think that for a card with these stats in this game, 100K is pretty cheap. So we'll see if he keeps rising. Guys like Tomiyasu as well for a very, very solid looking card. And for a right back in the Premier League, I still think that like he's under 50K, right? He's like 47,000 coins. That to me, this card still seems pretty cheap too. Now I know he doesn't have the best links, but you know, just a very interesting card in FIFA. And that's what I think these future stars cards are to a lot of casuals on this game. And so I do think you will see these guys rising a bit out of packs because of that factor. So just keep an eye on some of these cards as they, they end their time span here in this game in packs. Um, and they've just kind of taken the beating this week of a lot of content has been released. Fodder is very, very high. And these guys may be a little bit low in price just in general because so many people are focused on those SBCs. Now, that does not say they could go lower as well because a lot of SBCs are still to come. But that's just kind of one thing that I want to throw out to you. I think there are some cards in Future Stars that may be a bit cheap from Team 1. That could still go up, but this market needs to recover um, and it needs to recover fast because a lot of stuff is still down so, so much. If we take a look at prices that have dropped off from yesterday, there was so much moving on the market yesterday. It was actually crazy, right? Um, you take a look at the 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 Overmars, whole icon Overmars situation where EA is actually, if you saw the in-game message, they're removing Overmars from packs. He went from like 260,000 coins, 270K, when the first leaks about this happened, he exploded to 370, went back down to about 260, and then exploded to 400K and is now back down in the 260, 270 range. Uh, he is no longer in packs for the foreseeable future after the EA statement that they posted. Um, if you guys uh, know what Overmars did, 
um, you know, it's kind of warranted, right? To be completely honest. So just go to Twitter if you don't know what happened there. But that's the situation there. It's the same thing that happened with Van Basten like two years ago. Uh, they took him out of packs. And I think they reinstated him at some point. But for right now, Overmars is not in packs. He won't be packable through Icon packs or anything like that. He is basically not supplied anymore. He's still in the game, just not supplied. But a lot of the market still dropped off yesterday. A lot of these prices went down even further with that panic of the SBC. But some stuff rebounded back up. Again, like we talked about in last night's video, take a look at a guy like Kiesa, right? And like we said in yesterday's video too, the, there was a perfect time yesterday when all of this panic was happening. It was a tremendous opportunity to pick up on some of these cards that were out of packs for rises after the SBC and then also maybe rising a little bit more today. I actually went out and bought, I bought 10 Di Natales under 200, under 195,000 coins, right? I knew this guy, especially with some of the Serie A hype. Uh, we had with the the Zakaria, the, Z the Zakaria transferring to Juve. It shows he's still at uh, Mucha Gladbach, but in game it shows his objective card, the headliner upgraded to a Juve item. So with this hype, with the Koulibaly headliners upgrade hype, there there's some Serie A hype going on. So I went out and bought um, 10 Di Natales when he dipped really really low, uh, and he's rebounded back up a bit already. So I bought him like right here. He was 190, 195. I picked up 10 of them. He's already gone back to about 220, but I'm going to hold on to this, right? Because I think some people might get their rewards today, put together some squads around those two players and still move Di Natale up a little bit in price. And I bought a lot of cards. I literally put 6 million coins into the market yesterday, sold a few things, tried out Lewandowski. He's better than flashback Harry Kane. Got to be completely honest. He single-handedly is keeping me on a win streak through division two at the moment. He was very fun to use. I bought some Kiesas at uh, 195, sold them at 227. I bought a Rashford at 310, bought a couple of these Kiesas at like 95K. Bought a, I bought like five Ganduzis at 235, sold those at 270. Uh, I bought a couple Kula Bali's at 310. He is up and I still have a lot of things on my transfer list, right? You see the Mike Nans, uh, the French goalkeeper with the French SBC. I bought a Rashford at 395. He's usually about 430. I bought some Walkers under 100K. He was 120. I bought some Delane left backs for like 163 as well. So a lot of this stuff, I bought a Coman for 570, uh, a couple Cordobas. So I have a lot of coins on my transfer list, uh, but I really think that a lot of those cards I'm going to be able to sell today on um, Thursday after the Rivals Rewards time period, as I will think. I think you'll see a decent bit of a market rise on, on the most meta out of pack special cards that are on this game. Um, now, of course, that might not be for everything, and I'm probably going to get those cards out before 6 p.m. comes around again because with that foot reunion player pick getting re-released today, and a lot of people that are going to get their weekend league, or not their weekend league, but division rivals rewards um, today, also people are going to go out and do player picks to get fodder as well just because right now all of the content is just menu, 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 right? It's SBCs, it's objectives. Um, you know, objectives is, of course, gameplay, but just as so much content right now is focused on fodder and turning in club and turning in cards to do these SBCs. And that's just why the market is dropping so much. But I do think that with a little bit of an emphasis, um, you know, Thursdays, people play some qualifier games, they get their squads ready for weekend league. Uh, so that's why you see the market generally rise a bit on Thursdays. That's why I think the market could react in that way today a little bit. So that's why I'm talking about fodder rising. Now I need to get these SPCs done, the Future Stars Challenge 4 and the marquee matchups. There will be a new set of marquee matchups today on Thursday. And like I said, the re-up of the repeatable nature of the reunion player pick. So watch your 84s, 85s, and even some of your top tier fodder. And also watch these future stars, right? You know, I know the market is really down right now, um, but there's, there's still plenty of great opportunities. Whenever they drop these big time SBCs, and like we're gonna be watching for on the game today, with that reunion player pick being re-released, what we're gonna have to keep a really close eye on is how the market reacts to that being released a second time. I'm really curious to see if the, the fodder market goes up again today and then goes up higher after 6 p.m. content because people know that reunion player pick is coming out or since that player pick, the reunion player pick wasn't that good the first time around, are people going to be less in, incentivized to complete that SBC and to do that SBC player pick again today 
I'm very curious to see how this pans out and how it plays out. But of course, as we head into the later parts of today, the focus is going to be on Future Stars Team 2. That's why I wanted to talk about that in today's video. But I know this market is dropping. I know a lot of player prices are going down. And we'll talk about more how the market's going to be affected in tomorrow's video with this big weekend of content coming out. But uh, I really think... I really think that uh, the focus is not going to stray away from this fodder and from the SBC cards and from um, the content being insane. So unless there's some huge surprises today, I do think that the the, the market's probably going to go up a little bit, but then, you know, even into tomorrow night might drop a little bit more, but it should be a day of more gameplay demand. So trading and, and you know, buying and selling these cards on the fluctuations is a great thing to do. Now, I bought those two cool bollies at 310, probably going to cash out here around 370 to 380. Um, but yeah, that's just kind of the way the market is right now, right? The content is so heavy, so insane, is that everybody is, is not really focused on buying cards for teams. It's all about, you know, um, buying, you know, SBC fodder and, and doing SBCs and stuff like that. So that causes a lot of fluctuations. It causes a lot of cards to drop down in price. And you're probably going to see a little bit of that more today until tomorrow on Friday when we have new players in packs. That is maybe when we could see a bit of a turnaround. So again, reunion player pick coming back out again today. I would say it's not worth the gamble, but I know some people are still going to go out and do it. I think you might be able to do the mid prime pack again, because I think the timer on that repeatable SBC resets maybe at the same time, but I didn't do it. So I don't know. Uh, and then maybe a loading screen, new marquee matchups, probably another uh, future stars swap token available today. And also maybe they'll drop another player SBC. But uh, yeah, there's just a lot of content. It's just crazy the amount of content is going on right now. And it's on the SBC tab. So that's what people are focused on. Um, by the way, I'll put that link to the Team 2 Future Stars. I'll put the link to that uh, prediction down in the description if you want to take a closer look at that. But that is going to be the content for tomorrow. And uh, if you're still doing player picks, today might be a last chance effort as well to stack some 80 plus player picks for the team two of future stars if you wanted to do that because these do go away tomorrow and friday that might be a smart thing to do before these go away stack a few of them up because they are cracked right they're really good for fodder and they're really good for packing future stars in so that's the video for today boys again it's still we've made a lot of coins we're going to see a lot of that profit turn from unrealized gains at the moment as prices are up and we bought for a lot lower. I'm going to be selling this stuff into today on Thursday and then probably looking to go in on more cards today at Thursday at content. And uh, as people panic sell some stuff again to go and do SBCs, of course, we'll see what the leaks have for us. If anything crazy is going to come out, then that can, of course, make some things change as well. So as always, stay tuned to the Twitter um, and watch what happens there with those leaks. But crazy times on FIFA, right? And it's going to get even crazier this weekend with future stars, team number two. So if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.